Hi, I'm in uh, Pro 2017, and I've already uh, applied a molding profile to this base cabinet. I'm going to show you how I did it. I'm going to delete this cabinet, get a, a fresh one, make it a little bit larger. And it, it comes in with the default molding on it. Like that, uh, and molding countertop. I meant not molding. To add a molding, you just uh, select the uh, cabinet, open the object, go to the moldings tab, and click on Add New. You know, go to uh, Core Catalogs Architectural Molding, and the limiting factor in Pro is that you can't make these. They're just there. I don't know of any way you, you could uh, create them and import them in, into Pro like you can in uh, Cheap Architect Premiere. But like, let's the one I used before with this edge molding, and you can see it's a profile. And you can select it, and then the profile gets applied to the countertop. Uh, let's, we'll pick a different one this time. I don't, you mentioned a shadow box molding or something like, I don't even, I don't know what that looks like. If any of these are, are like that, then uh, you're in luck. Uh, click OK. You see it automatically added itself to the, to the cabinet in that little, uh, window here. And of course you can set the material for a molding as well. I, I just use the default, but there's a applied molding, and you you can um, use the eyedropper and put it on the molding, and so it's all. So now you got a nice rounded edge instead of a flat edge. <clears throat> In terms of specifically your shadow shadow molding, I, I don't know what that looks like, so I can't answer that question. But if it's in the library, you're in luck. If it isn't, you're going to have to upgrade to Cheap Architect Premier where you can draw your own profiles and add them to the library. Pro doesn't have that ability. Okay, thanks for watching.